I peeked outside telling myself I needed to come out here and water and everything is just drooping and unhappy. Hey there, it is Sunday, October 17th. I am coming outside to water my garden for the first time in almost a week. I've been sick this past week. I actually got sick the night before my birthday and just started feeling better on Friday. So I'm up and moving two days after starting to feel better and I'm getting all my chores caught up inside the house and now I started on my garden chore outside the house and I found my plants are super sad. They have missed me. They have missed me watering them and it has not rained here in South Carolina in over a week so Mother Nature did not help me out while I was down and out. So I'm gonna show you how everything looks out here not having been watered and hopefully soon I'll take another video and show how everything's perked back up. You can easily see everything looks really droopy. Droopy is unhappy plants. I worked so hard on those tomato plants back there and they are sad and unhappy with me. Although I have some red tomatoes and I'm really excited about that. Look at this fig. Even it's sad and this fig is pretty ferocious. It does a great job of always looking good and it's not very happy. My eggplant too. My eggplant looks hard hit. It's got some big eggplants on there that need harvested. Oh. All my little babies out here, I'm so sad. I'm sorry, babies. If you have seen any of my past videos, my green bean plant has become my baby. Well, they're all my babies, I just said that. But this green bean plant, we've had our ups and downs and these pesky worms, watch. my. See how the leaf is curled in? Can you see that? So if I unroll this, there's going to be a worm in here. And there he is. Hims is going to go. I'm going to take some time on this plant. Search for the worms because he's fat and juicy. So there means there's others. And this plant is looking super sad. Let's see if I can save them. I actually only found those two worms on here so hopefully that'll be it I have to check my moon calendar on when I can come out here and prune some stuff this bell pepper's got some droopy leaves but it's got some beautiful purple bell peppers. This makes me happy. This dragon's breath was four stalks I bought on clearance at the local nursery for $3. Split it up, it's grown into this beautiful dragon's breath. I love it. It's not standing up though, so that makes me sad. It's my own fault. The morning glory that my sweet daughter planted has exploded, but 
like everything else in this garden right now, it's pretty unhappy with me. So I just gave it a good drink. The aloe is doing pretty good. Having not been watered, this aloe is surviving really well. So if you're a forget to water kind of person, get you some aloe. My Fresno chili plant actually looks pretty good. Um, this is the plant, oh, did you see that butterfly? She was saying hi. Um, this is the plant where the stem had broken and it was hanging at a 90 degree angle, almost completely tore off, but for whatever reason was still alive. I I decided it was just best for the plant overall to take that piece off rather than let the little living well within the plant try to heal that portion of the plant. It was a huge chunk. It was the majority of the plant. And that was definitely the right decision. I've got a bunch of little flowers here that are going to produce some fruit for me. And look at this monster down here. It may be the only pepper on this plant, but it is a loving life. These tomato plants are my sweat and tears. I'm so happy I've got tomatoes going and I'm so sad that they're looking so sad. Let's see how well we can bring them back to life. So while I was watering the tomato plants, I saw a couple of bum tomatoes, so I was going to pull them off. And I have to show you, I know tomato plants need a lot of water. I know tomato plants will be full of juice if you water them a lot. So this must be what happens to tomatoes when you don't water them. It's nothing but air. It's, it's, it's nothing. My final thing to water is the Twilight Numex peppers. I am really excited. We're going to try to make our own hot sauce with these this week. So I will share how that goes. But for now... I'm not going to harvest anything today. I'm going to leave it all on the plant, let it get some good drink. And then later this week I'll harvest some things and see what I can make with it. I was trying to see if I could get that butterfly in my little capture background back here, but I can't. He's gone off over the fence. That's all for today. I came out here, I watered, I'm a little sad, but it's also a lesson of showing me that even when a farmer is sick, a farmer has to go and take care of their crops because that's what they're Life depends on whether it's a cash crop so that they can put some money in the bank at the end of the season, or if it's a crop to fill the pantry, it's so important to keep up with it even when you're not feeling well. So good life lesson to have here on my tiny backyard urban homestead for right now. I thank you so much for watching this quick little video. I hope that maybe you learned something or that you're encouraged to have a little something of your own, start growing and see where it takes you. My name is Danielle. I am the Zodiac Tiller. I thank you so much for watching. I hope you'll subscribe to my channel to see more of my fun, silly little videos of things I've learned. 
and I hope that you like this video and give me a thumbs up for encouragement towards feeling better and getting this garden back in shape. Thanks so much. Have a wonderful day and a great week ahead. Hey there. It's Sunday, October 16th, I think it is. No. 15th, 16th, 17th. It's October 17th. Hey there. I, oh gosh, I recorded this and I had my trash can behind me. Uh. Hey there, it is Sunday, October 20, oh my gosh, October 20, it's 9 20.